hey everybody welcome back to the kid channel thanks for coming back to the unapologetic network where you can see i'm doing another makeup tutorial first off i'm so weak look at me fumbling with this light right now when i tell y'all i was fumbling with this light for a good couple of minutes like <laughs> i really was <laughs> Yo, having a like getting the perfect setup for to record a makeup tutorial is hard. Let me tell you. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and just jump into this makeup tutorial. Again, this is beginner friendly, so just take your time, relax, and just have fun. So the first thing that I am doing is going in with my Morphe brush into the anastasia prism palette i'm using this color parallel and all i'm doing right now is just applying this brown shade color to my entire eyelid i'm not necessarily worried about where i'm placing the shade so as you can see on this eye i'm about to do the same exact thing and all you gotta do is just make sure you don't go above your crease you don't want to go above your crease at the first step because you want to make sure your eyeshadow shades are well balanced. And again, you kind of just want to use this first step of applying eyeshadow as a foundation, a base, a guideline. You know, it's basically helping you map out how you're going to apply the other eyeshadows. Definitely since we're doing the halo look. Now, in the same Anastasia Prism palette, I am mixing the two shades Eden and Saturn to basically act as my transition color. And all I'm doing is applying this orangey shade above my crease. So right on the line where like I stopped applying the brown, um, that's why I'm applying this orangey shade color. When the orange tone colors mix with the brown, it does give off a little plumish look which i like and again it's all about what you like not what nobody else likes so if you like the way the shades are mixing then you good to go sis now it's time to add more drama to this look i want this eyeshadow look to pop okay so to do that i'm going in with my Too Faced semi sweet chocolate bar palette oh my gosh i love their palettes just because for one the smell Ooh, it smells so good and then also the eyeshadows are very pigmented so i'm going in with the hot fudge shade which is a deep tone chocolate brown color i'm applying that shade to my deep crease as well as my inner corner and then i'm just using light brush strokes so I'm basically moving my brush in a circular motion from right to left where my crease is to connect and to create that halo effect So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this eyelid. As you can see, I'm doing soft circular brush strokes. I'm taking my time. Just remember when applying the eyeshadow, a little goes a long way. You don't need that much eyeshadow on your brush. So if you feel like you have too much eyeshadow, make sure you dust it off before applying to your eyelid. It helps avoid a lot of mistakes. And I know showing you guys how I do the halo effect on this eyelid can be a little bit redundant, but I want to make sure that y'all get it. Um, applying eyeshadow isn't as hard as a lot of people will make it seem. Trust me, I used to not be able to do makeup like at all. Like I was one of those girls where like my friends would have to do my makeup for me before we go out. But you know, like just stay committed to it. You know, practice makes perfect and you know, applying eyeshadow is just, it's fun. So make sure you have fun with it. You're eventually going to get it. Just don't give up.
now the best part of this look the part that's going to bring everything together we are doing that halo effect to get the halo effect you want to do kind of like a half moon and half circle shape and i like to use shimmer eyeshadows because it just helps pop out that halo effect So when doing this type of eyeshadow look, a lot of people like to start out with using a concealer to create like a base for that halo effect or where you're going to apply the shimmer. And honestly, it all depends on what you're going for when you are creating the halo effect. Right now in this tutorial, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wipe Highlighter, which is super pigmented and full of color. So honestly, I don't need the foundation. I don't need to apply concealer. Y'all, I am famous to not knowing the words to songs. Like, look at me. I don't even know the words. <laughs> I'm funny. So, a rule of thumb that I live by is that if you want your eyeshadow to pop, you need to have some type of contrast. And the easiest way to get some type of contrast with your eyeshadow look is to apply some type of eyeliner and or mascara. So right now I'm using a random, probably drugstore brand eyeliner pencil and I'm applying the eyeliner to my waterline. Make sure y'all take your time with this step because I definitely poked my eye one or two times out of doing this. So always take your time when, you know, you're applying stuff to your waterline. Now to intensify the look, I'm going back into my Too Faced and my Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm using the shade Licorice, which is like a true black color. I love this color. I'm basically using this eyeshadow to smudge out the eyeliner that I placed on my waterline. I'm using one of NYX Cosmetics old, you know, eyeliners that they used to sell. I'm not really sure any specifics but you know <laughs> when it comes to eyeliner i'm gonna be honest with y'all i like to use liquid eyeliner period i don't like to use any other like texture type eyeliner so like the gel eyeliners or um you know like the crayon type eyeliners i like to use liquid liquid obviously it's, it's liquid so it's looser it is harder to control but if you just take your time and keep practicing you'll get better there's a lot of good makeup artists out there that are that can do like perfect eyeliner but honestly like eyeliner is just trial and error like you gotta keep practicing eyeliner is definitely a challenge so if you don't know how to do it and it's hard for you to get the gist of it just just know you ain't the only one like you're really not So now I'm going in with my Maybelline mascara. I'm not really sure which one this is, but the product information and all the products that I use in this video will be in the description box down below. So make sure y'all check that out. And if you haven't also subscribed to my channel because I will be producing more makeup tutorials, you know, in the near future. And yo, let me just say, as y'all can see, I have long curly eyelashes. And if you do not have long curly eyelashes, I'm gonna just tell you, it is so hard to do mascara because no matter how 
how much I try to be careful, I still get mascara on my eyelids. So if you have long curly eyelashes like I do, trust me, I understand how you feel. You're not the only one because no matter what I do, I still get mascara on my eyelids. Like, it's so annoying. Okay, this is L taking over. Jabria went to take a dump. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, she's still doing this eyelash shit. I just want to talk about the Tinkerbell dust on her face real quick. It's very uh, alluring and magnificent. It attracts you, doesn't it? It attracts me. That's all I had to say. What does? <laughs> what the the powder? The setting powder? <laughs> oh yeah, that shit. That attracts you. Yeah, you look at the face, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna finish this voiceover together. All right. All right. So, what am I doing now? You still curling your eyelashes. I don't know how long I'm, that takes. This why you be taking four hours? Yes. Mascara is hard. Like mascara and eyeliner is definitely something you have to take your time with. Period. You take your time time. Like you got to Damn, babe. You do not need to do this shit for that long. Like first of all, I have to apply the mascara. I'm shaping my like everything. Like how on. you just got the fairy dust all blended. It's yeah. called editing, like I. But you didn't of, show them uh, using the brush. Cause that's another video. Oh my bad. If you wanna, guys, if you wanna learn how I contour and highlight and apply my face makeup, make sure y'all stay tuned. I just wanna say thank y'all so much for walking, for watching my beginners free. What the fuck am I talking about? My <laughs> run, <laughs> run that shit back. <laughs> run that shit the fuck back. So yes, hi guys. Thank you so much for, you know. Oh my God! <laughs> Take two! God. Yes guys, so thank you guys so much for watching my beginner's friendly halo effect eyeshadow makeup tutorial. If you like what you see, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Um, if you want to see me do anything in the future, please make a comment and let me know what you want to see, what you want unapologetic Nay to do for you. <laughs>